Hello, I am Fantastic and Fantastic, and today I'm going to be playing through the Star Treasure of the Night Sky Dungeon with my Edward team. So I was going to use Roshanna, but then I saw there's Titania, and I've learned my lesson that it's not a pleasant experience making eight combos with crosses. So, basically I need to have Edward come up in order to happily deal with the Metatrons at the end. So, I have the capacity to use skill charge but making like one combo here and there will get the job done to a certain extent as well because i have decent recovery Let's see we're at nine turns we're getting there because i'll get one turn of the metatron and i have basically four floors before so i could have a minimum of five turns so i have nine to go so in theory if i skill charge every single board it would work However, I'm just going to keep doing this for a little bit, because I know I won't get skill charge every turn. Okay, now I'm below half health. That's a bad thing. Uh, but then again, that also means I can skill charge more um, safely. Actually, no. I just missed the door. Okay, it's a turn of nothing, and here we go. Let's sweep the floor. There's the skill charge that I was talking about. So now I only have five turns, so I will be okay, I'd say, as long as I get one skill charge somewhere. I have no idea what you do, girl. You have too much defense for me, so I am going to just keep smashing away. Maybe red will fall there. Or there, that works too. So, I'm going to be able to have all of my cards up. For 90% reduction, I actually did quite a bit. Oops. Okay, still above half, which is important. Because I feel like things are going to be bad if I get her below half health. Well, if I get below half health. And things are going to ramp up in terms of too much damage, potentially. I missed a yellow. It's okay. Alright, so Edwards are up. I'm good to go. I can da easily dance the Metatrons. There is a delay here, but again, it's only one turn. One turn isn't that big of a deal. And then we smash right through. My knees comes up in two. Next spawn is Titania, which is not too bad to deal with. She'll give me a bazillion amount of movement time, and I'm okay with that. Alright, so there we go, like, I got the Edwards up in time, like, in hindsight, maybe I should have brought Dark Athena as a sub, because Dark Athena has three skill boosts and the built-in delay, but this will be fine. So, gonna pop Edward, and then I should be able to smash through easily, because it is 20 million defense, but 20 million defense is still doable. Like if this fails, I have another Edward. But I do have God Killers on my Edwards. Like I have a fan of three God Killers. I only have two on mine. So there we go. Like that is the 99 plus dungeon. Use another Edward. I have no idea how strong this thing is actually. All I knew was that there is a Metatron at the very end of the dungeon. That's all I really knew. So there we go, the shiny is slain, I get my 99 plus egg, so this is pretty nice. This dungeon is only allowed to be done in solo mode, it costs 99 stamina, so it's basically 1 stamina per plus actually, so it's kind of up to you whether or not you feel it's worth it. He has a modest amount of rank experience, it's like, okay. 
So yeah, like, I'm pretty sure I could actually play it again and again if I really wanted to. So it's a good way to dump your stamina if you have the means to beat it. Like, say you're going to rank up, you have too much stamina, kind of similar to what I'm at now. I could play it, dump my stamina, get some 99 pluses. So hopefully this video provides you with a little bit of inspiration how you can tackle this dungeon. I wish you all the best of luck in your own pad adventures. If anyone is wondering, I think people have been asking where my ranking tournament was. I ended up at 0.6 here and 0.3 on my other account. And I got my mom her very first crown. So now I'm going to become her favorite son. It doesn't matter that I'm her only son. I can still be the winner. And happy puzzling. <laughs>